Hey YouTube, today I got the Mi Band Fitness Tracker 3. I'm gonna compare it to my old Mi Band Fitness Tracker 2 and I will discuss whether you should upgrade it or not. Now these two things have a lot of common features. They're at the same price, this is a little bit more expensive since this is a new one. And it has a bit more options, whether you should upgrade or not, we're gonna discuss it later. So let's open up the box. It comes in a very small box like this very minimalistic it's in Chinese uh, it says Android 4.4 here in the back and what else 2018 250 milliamp battery it says that it's water resistance to, to 5 atmospheres so it's swim uh, ready you can swim with this although as, as you have seen in another video of mine you can swim also with this one though this is not certified for swimming and this is the fitness tracker itself it comes in this nice little box here let's take it off very minimalistic oh and it's in chinese already and it also comes with this band now and some instructions here and also the charger it's the same charger i think Let's see if it is the same charger. No, no instructions whatsoever. From where you can see the Mi Band 3 is a bit larger and it has more holes in the, in the strap so you can uh, fit it to a smaller child. We can also see that it's uh, quite bigger. The screen is bigger and the size of it is bigger. Very, very lightweight, both of them. And that the if you have a Mi Band 3 Three, you cannot use the Mi Band 2 as a charger because of course it's a bigger one it uh, requires a different charger of course the book okay, and I will charge charger. it a bit as you can see the Mi Band 3 has a bigger screen and uh, the both have tap buttons here uh, the both have multiple sensors let's see if we tap we see the, we see the steps we see the heart rate uh, here we can swipe and we can see it has multiple screens uh, Let's tap again, uh, heart rate monitor, uh, weather, uh, uh, fitness, uh, stuff like that, and some other things here. Let's take a closer look. Uh, it, has a, it has a stopwatch, a silent thing here, find the device uh, application. Uh, in general, it has more, this, uh, the Mi Band 3 has more features than the, the two. Uh, both are plastic uh, they have more or less the the same design although this is a bigger it's more legible i would say in uh, daylight it has a bigger screen of course this uh, 0.7 inch although this is 0.4 inch so this is more readable but let's go to the downsides now this has a battery a extraordinary battery life that uh, lasts up to 40 days with use or uh, having standing like like that uh, this already let's see where the battery is this is distance yeah it's battery says 41 percent i've charged around 50 percent i have it for a couple of days although the, the battery has dropped uh, around nine percent uh, so that's a, a, a disadvantage for uh, this one so, although this has a, a 110 milliamp hour battery and this is a 7, 70 milliamp hour, hour battery, this lasts less. So that is a, a disadvantage for this one compared to the older one, the Mi Band 2. Now, should you upgrade? Let, let's focus on the cons. Both of these this uh, smart bands have a, a big disadvantage, for at least for me, the fact that the screen does not stay on so if you're wearing it in your hand like this and just swipe it like this you you cannot see the time you have to tap it to see the time so at least for me that is a very big disadvantage i did not know that from the beginning so if i knew it would probably go somewhere else one other thing is that they don't have built-in gps some consider it a big disadvantage some not so big uh, they are small they have a small screen it is legible from distance both of these you can see the time and the battery life 
on this one is significantly shorter than this one. Uh, I, I believe that as I've seen in other reviews it will probably take up to 20 days but I would prefer something better. Of course this has a lot more features it has a stopwatch, it, it shows you the the weather and it also helps you, helps you with uh, some uh, exercise that you do without having your cell phone and let's go to another big disadvantage here also as you can see the date is different from when I started the review and uh, I don't have the Bluetooth on the reason for that is that when you try to hook up with your cell phone let's do this and if you try to hook up with your cell phone if you have another language other than English in your cell phone the, this thing's turned in, into Chinese now there are some hacks I will try to find something that will try to use English as a basic language but uh, this is also a defect there a problem they will find uh, that will fix the bug at some point so if I want to hook up with my MIAP I cannot use my uh, mother language I have to use uh, English in order to have this not in Chinese if I use my mother language say Italian, Greek, French, whatever uh, it will turn into Chinese so I have to find some solution to that other than that let's say that both these trackers are in the price range of around 20 euros or less so I believe that if you have to buy either one of these if you don't have problem with the battery I think this is a good uh, solution to be honest, my personal preference would be to buy the Amazfit uh, Beep, which I'm going to do probably during the Black Friday, where the prices even fall down a lot more. So that was the review, my personal opinion, of course. In general, this seems a bit better than the old one. However, it has some uh, defects, the screen that doesn't, say, that doesn't stay on, the fact that its battery has a shorter life and the fact that you cannot from the beginning you cannot hook up with your cell phone you have to do something with the language uh, thanks for watching please like subscribe